Who was at fault? Will Smith, Chris Rock, or the Academy for somehow forgetting to put up the don't beat up the host on live television sign? Here's a concerning statistic. According to the New York Post, the majority of Americans think Chris Rock is at fault. Guys, I know it's literally all anyone has talked about in the last four days, but I still feel like it hasn't been talked about enough. Let me sound it out for you again, because we've all pretty much gone numb to everything in the last couple years. But the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air casually strolled across the biggest stage in television and pimp slapped the shit out of Chris Rock on live TV, delivering his greatest hit since 1998, then gets a standing ovation 15 minutes later. But that's not even the craziest part for me. I am genuinely shocked at how many people can't agree on who was at fault or what the takeaway here is, or whether a hot dog is a sandwich or not. Is it? Now, I know an online poll from the New York Post is about as reliable as, say, Jada's hairline, but many celebrities have either gone completely silent or even defended Will. I just hope that more men are like that. Or more commonly on Twitter, chalked it up as a sort of tit-for-tat thing, like, I don't condone violence, but you can't say that. Well, turns out I just did. Look guys, I've been making videos for a little over a year now, and I have stayed out of anything even remotely polarizing. And the reason this is personal to me is because some days, I consider myself a comedian. It's technically my job. Now, I'm not a stand-up comedian because I have scoliosis, but damn it, I even named myself Jake's Funny. Whether that's true or not, eh. But listen, the takeaway is not a hard one here. Will Smith is an unhinged psychopath. Two things, one, Violence is wrong. Two, a joke is not violence. It's a joke. Look, I knew millions of people in this world couldn't take a joke. Not my fans, of course. You guys obviously have a great sense of humor. But I wasn't aware of just how many people outside of comedy are afraid to defend comedy's honor. Hell, I guarantee you even 25% of people who agree with me are going to be scared to like this video because they're so afraid of having their name attached to something that could possibly offend someone. I literally started my career pranking my dad on a 30-part series called How Long Until I Get Slapped, doing things much worse than that joke, yet my dad still never slapped me. On camera. But if I was Jaden Smith, that would have been a one-part series, apparently. But the funniest part about all this for me, aside from Chris Rock delivering the greatest line in television history, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Is that the entire audience gave Will Smith a standing ovation. Oh! Now, to be fair, he did give a six-minute speech apologizing profusely to Chris, owning up to what he... What's up? Uh, he didn't? Uh, he, he just talked about God's plan for himself? You said vessel for love? Oh. He says love will make you do crazy things. Well, being crazy will also make you do crazy things. I have thousands of kids and teenagers who follow me, and while I clearly set a bad example on how to treat your parents, let me at least guide you in the right direction on this one. Don't smack a comedian in the face because they told a joke. Got it? Good. Learn how to laugh at yourself, and I promise you the world will be a much more inviting and open place. Just like Will and Jada's marriage.